The child care subsidy is, is incrementally helpful to low-income families, although in many instances it doesn't close the gap completely. One of the things that's often talked about is the cliff effect, where if you get a small raise that, that may push you into a new eligibility band, reduce your child care subsidy, and that the reduction in subsidy actually makes you worse off in the aggregate than if you hadn't gotten a raise. There is then that sort of middle group that isn't making enough money to be able to easily afford childcare, but is making too much money to qualify for the subsidy. And for those folks, it can be even worse for them than it is for the people on the subsidy because they're not eligible for any sort of support. That is one of the reasons that working to raise the eligibility levels is so important. In an ideal world for Illinois, we would, if anything, start moving beyond the categories of preschool, childcare, and Head Start. We don't want it to be, oh, we've got this cool childcare program, and look, over here there's home visiting, and over here there's preschool, and over here there's Head Start. What we want is to meet the needs of children and that the families don't have to worry about which funding stream the money is coming from. They know, you know, I'm going to go to work at the beginning of the day, and when I come back at the end of the day, my child will have had a positive experience that includes some educational component and primarily where they had interactions with adults who loved them and take care of them and facilitated their learning.